Good morning, girls and boys. My name is Sister Kiana, and I am so glad that you decided to join me today, Sunday, October 3rd, 2021, for Sunday School here at the Apostolic Faith Church in Chicago. It's been quite a while since I've seen you, but please know that you have been in my thoughts and in my prayers. Our pastor, Bishop Smith, and our First Lady, Sister Smith, send their love. Do you have a prayer request? Is there something or someone in your mind or in your heart that you want us to pray for today? Well, as we agree in prayer, trust and believe that God is able to answer our prayers according to his will and to his way. So will you join me with prayer? Please close your eyes and bow your heads. Dear Lord, we come before you thanking you because this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Your word tells us to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So Lord, we are joyfully and happily saying thank you. We love you, we honor you, and we praise you for who you are. You are so good to us and you take such good care of us. Lord, we would like to say that we're sorry. Please forgive us for anything that we have done wrong. Please create in us a clean heart so that we can love the way that you love and we can forgive the way that you forgive. Those who may be sick, we ask you to heal. Please continue to keep us safe from COVID-19 and any other sicknesses. Please protect the children as they attend school. Help them to do their best and to make good choices. Those who are sad, please help them to feel glad. Bless the parents as they provide for their children and their families. Bless our pastor, our first lady, the entire church family, as well as your global church. Help us to do what you would have for us to do. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Well, thank you for praying with me today. Okay, so let's get started with our lesson. The title of our lesson for today is Praise and Rejoice. Do you know what it means to praise God? Well, when we praise God, we express ourselves in a happy and joyful way. We can express our love for God by being thankful for all of the things that he's done. We can play music, we can sing, or we can dance. We can praise God because we are thankful and grateful for all that he's done for us. So let's read our story. Praise and rejoice. Psalm 100 is a psalm of rejoicing. It invites us to praise God because he is good. Why should we praise him? You might ask. Well, God rules over all the earth. So we can praise him by shouting with joy. We can even serve him with song. We belong to God because he created us. We are like his sheep and he cares for us. So we can be thankful and happy. We should praise him because he is good and his love will never end. He will be faithful for all eternity. So you see here in our story, we learn that we should praise God because he rules over all the earth. God created the earth and everything in it. He made us and we are his people. We are his sheep. God cares for us and he takes such good care of us. And those are some of the reasons why we should praise him. God will be with us throughout eternity. He will never, ever leave us. He will never forsake us. He will always be with us 
in our hearts. And he cares so much about us. God is so faithful and he loves us so much. And those are reasons why we should joyfully and happily praise him. Our memory verse is found in Psalm 101. And the NIV translation reads as follows. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. We learn from reading the Bible that God wants us to be happy and joyful when we praise him. He wants us to sing to him as a sign of praise. He likes us to dance to him in a form of praise. He also likes for us to play musical instruments. We could play drums. We could play the clarinet, the flute. We could play tambourines. There are all types of instruments that we can use to praise the Lord. Whatever way we choose to praise him, we are to make a happy, joyful noise. Can you tell me what are some ways that you can make a joyful noise? How can you praise God? How can you rejoice unto the Lord? Well, yes, you are absolutely right. If you said some things such as clapping your hands or stumping your feet or singing some of your favorite worship songs, you can raise your hands, raise them up high. You can worship God with waving your hand. You could even praise God in bowing down before him. Those are all some ways that we can praise the Lord. There are many different ways. And God wants us to praise him and to worship him in whatever way that we feel happy praising and worshiping him. So thank you for those responses. Those were, those were all good responses. Let's read our life application story. I feel great today, Amira said, beaming with joy. But why, her brother Jameer asked, I am alive. Think about it. That is a reason to be happy and to praise God, she responded. That's true, Amir agreed. What else can we praise God for? What about a house or our health for being healthy and not for being sick? Amira said, smiling. Or all the bugs on the ground, Jameer replied. Sure. Amira said, shaking her head. Oh, and don't forget family. So many things we can praise God for. So you see here in our life application story, we have a lot of reasons to praise and to rejoice unto the Lord. We should happily and joyfully praise him because we have so much to be thankful and to be grateful for. We must make a joyful noise unto the Lord because he is God. He's blessed us with homes. He's blessed us with food to eat, clothes to wear. We have toys that we can play with or different gadgets like tablets and things that we can use to have fun. God has blessed us with family and friends. We even have a church where we can go and learn about God. God has done so many things for us. He's blessed us in so many different ways. So we have many, many reasons to be thankful and to be grateful. If you can see with your eyes, if you can hear with your ears, if you can talk, God has been good to us. And those are all blessings and we shouldn't take them for granted. We need to thank God for our eyes and thank him for our ears. Even thank him for your hands and your feet. God has been really good to us. He cares so much about us and he loves us. And these are all reasons why we need to make a joyful noise. We need to rejoice and to praise him. We need to be happy in our hearts and to be grateful and extend praise and worship unto our God because he is truly, truly worthy to be praised. So 
Let me ask you a question. Have you thought about being baptized? Well, if you've had that talk with your parents and you've decided that you're ready to be baptized or parents, if you've been thinking about being baptized and you're ready to make that next step, feel free to call our church at 773-373-8500 and someone will gladly assist you. Well, boys and girls, thank you again for joining me today. I know we are still facing some challenging times, but be encouraged, be happy, and know that God is with us every step of the way. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will take care of us and he will see us through. So I would like to challenge you this week to draw a picture of something that you are grateful for or something that you are thankful for or something that you wanna praise and worship God for or make a list, write out some things that you wanna thank God for. And with your picture in your hand or with your list in your hand, I would like for you, I would challenge you to sing a worship song or to dance to your favorite praise and worship song or to play some musical instruments and give our God a joyful, a happy, a grateful praise and rejoice unto him. That's our challenge for this week, okay, boys and girls? Let's close our eyes and bow our heads in prayer. Lord, we thank you for allowing us to learn about praising and rejoicing you. We have learned to make a joyful noise. So Lord, we thank you and we honor you for who you are, for you are God. Lord, we ask that you help us to help others and bless us to bless others. Lead us and guide us. Continue to be with us and to keep us safe. Bless us to have a good week. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Goodbye, boys and girls. I'll see you later. But don't forget, God loves you and I do too. Bye-bye.